hang out. I'm listening. Right. You good? Oh, I'm always good. Okay. All right. Uh, Harold, five under 67 today. Excellent way to start the BMW Championship. Just one bogey on the card. What are your takeaways? Um, great, obviously, great start. You know, um, just want to give myself a chance to make it to East Lake, and obviously, winning this tournament would be probably the only way I can get there. So, um, it's a good start. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, you mentioned uh, a lot about attitude and having a good mindset. What mindset did you bring to the course today? The same. Obviously, showed in the scores. Just. Accepting what happens, you know, like quit trying to control everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to do in this game, and it's just not possible to do it well. You just hit it and go find it and do it again. And um, played well today. I've been playing well since we started the. Since I started playing, I guess Reno, I was playing well. So it's just good just to keep keep it rolling. Um, not far from home. I just want to. I want to get to East Lake pretty much. Yeah. Uh, with the compressed timeline of prep and the Monday finish and learning the new golf course, how, how did you feel out there today? The hardest part was walking the golf course. It's uh, it's pretty hilly, that, but like being ready to play, that's easy. Like if you'd have told me I had a chance to be in the top 70 and I could only no practice round, I would have been fine. Mm -hmm. So it, once again, it's perspective, attitude, and you know it is what it is. They made a decision we were going to finish on Monday, and we played Monday, and just come whenever. It's pretty easy. In terms of your game, based on what you saw today, what will be the keys for you to continue this positive momentum for the rest of the week? I think you, if you hit it in the fairway, you can get some good looks. Um, it's soft enough. Um, I just hope we keep playing ball in hand because I had a ton of mud balls. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. They all know how to mess that one up. <laughs> What else? I, I actually, I don't think about it at all. I just know if I make the East Lake, I'm going to make a lot of money, and kids aren't cheap. So, yeah, I, I want to be there. I think it, I should be there, so it's, I don't see why not. Someone asked Shannon Smith the other day, what do you do with $15 million? Mm -hmm. What would you do with $15 million? I'd have one hell of a foundation. Yeah, I would be able to help a lot of kids. Um, yeah, that'd be sick. I'd be living on the high life, high on the hog all the time. Uh, you just have a meltdown, have some good heart-to-hearts. Having good people around you helps out a lot. So just, you know, when things are slipping and you just have a, you know, it's not pretty. It's nothing I'd want to be on TV with. But it, it's you got to have those things. To be good at anything, you have to have people that, like, put you in check, more or less. I don't really like it. I'm not really good at listening to it, but it's it's a must. Do you stick with it and just talk to the same people over and over again? Or how close to the I try to – I actually listen and do what I'm supposed to do. Um, the same thing they would do for me, you know, and, and I appreciate that. So if I'm not going out there with the best mindset, you know, I'm not doing them, you know, especially my caddy of all people, you know, you're doing them a disservice by not bringing the best attitude every day. Uh, Harold, just talk about uh, what are your thoughts on the Atlas Center? Um, Baltimore's hosting that first uh, season tour event in nearly 60 years. So I just want to get your thoughts on the fan atmosphere. I did not know that, but um, – I don't know why they call it Caves Valley. It seems like if you like have, make a putt, you can hear it on the whole golf course. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people. I like people a lot. I like to make them scream, so it's good. <laughs> and just what are your just your overall thoughts on, on the course? Oh, uh, it's good. Um, I mean, it's pretty awesome. It reminds me of a place that Tom Fazio did in North Carolina called Diamond Creek that I play a few times. Same setup, cottages, and you know, good time. So I'm thinking about, you know, if I was to come back, I definitely wouldn't be keeping my score, that's for sure. <laughs> Is Diamond Creek the course with, like, the lake and the boat and stuff? Or that? No, no, I, no, that would be Grandfather, I think. That's got, like, the blob and all that. Yeah, I've played there a few times. Um, I love that area of the world. Um, I'm biased in North Carolina. I think it's the best state in the world. So, yeah, every chance I can get, I go up there. It's The high is probably 71 today there. Yeah, and it would be 100 in Charlotte. <laughs> long as we're not playing at altitude, 150 yards is 150 yards. So you just play golf. You know, it's not like it's, you know, if someone invited you to play some golf somewhere, you're not going to go because you haven't played it before. So it's not, I don't, I don't think it's that hard, but some people are way more analytical and like dive into it. And this is where you got to hit it. I just get up to it and hit it, you know, fairly as hard as I can. And hopefully it goes straight. All right. All good. Hell yeah. <laughs>